Learning Services Innovation presents LSI on Learning. You don't need to start with a big bank of words. Start with, say, 10 high impact words that students need to know in order to go deeper with the material. And again, the word sort is not going to be used for everything and every subject, for every outcome, for every uh, big concept. You have to choose wisely. How about this other column? How can we extend our understanding there? You want to choose two or three strategies that are high impact for your students. And the nice part about the word sort is you can do it two different ways. You can do a closed word sort where the teachers provide the students with the big headings such, of, such as biotic or such as photosynthesis. And then the students are required to sort the supporting details under those categories. Another way to differentiate is to, to provide them with no headings and that is called uh, open word sort. The students would construct their uh, columns, they would group like and similar terms together and then they would have to work together to construct the big umbrella word, the big idea or theme word. Well, I found the harvesting category and noticed that there wasn't everything we learned in it. There were more types of harvesting, so I added those in. It's exciting to watch the kids have that conversation. That to me excites me as a teacher because I can really get in there and I can hear their thinking, I can figure out where I need, what my next steps are, I can help them develop their thinking by gearing the conversation strategically towards some of my own targeted goals as a teacher. Um, I may use different strategies depending on my, my group dynamic but use the two or three, the one or two that are successful. Allow those students to become good at what they're doing. Allow them to become thinkers of what will move their thinking forward. Because what ends up happening is these students will take these strategies, such as the word sort, and they will apply it to study skills as they progress through uh, junior high and high school. And I've actually seen it happen. I've received emails from other students saying, Mrs. Lab, I have to say, these three strategies have done me justice as I moved to grade 12 because they have now, it has become part of their student toolbox and a way that they can become independent and strategic students.